Alright, so this is how usually red rank games go. Like every single one of them. This is how optimal a survival friends team can be. Ruins in a shit place. I had a Michael Myers game where it's literally out in the middle of the field too. And on this map, this is like one of the worst fucking maps for killers. It's terrible. It's too big. I'm Billy and I still don't stand a chance against a team like this. Plus RNG kind of helped them out a lot. Like right about there. Thanks game. That should have been a free hit. Alright so he's doing that. I'm trying to like lead him to go where I want him to go. So I'm starting off pretty strong right? Looks good to me. But they're an entire squad of survival friends. And I forget what I'm doing here. I'm not camping him. I was doing something like messaging somebody or something like that. Why is he like trying to kill himself? See, I didn't know he was trying to kill himself, or I should have stayed there. That would have helped this game out so fucking much. Alright, so we pop that. Pop goes the weasel that. Ruin is gone. Now we're after another person that definitely knows what they're doing when it comes to looping. But they fucked up here. And I barely fucked up there. Somebody is on a generator. Two people out of gen. I wisely left chase, which is what I should have done, because that gin could pop like in a matter of seconds, and that gin that she was on like wouldn't pop at all, and that's how fast a generator can pop. Did you see how quick that was? Here's the reason why. Two of these motherfuckers are running prove thyself. So there's one person that, now this guy would have been dead. If I would have stayed there, which I should have, but I wasn't camping, I was just doing something else, like someone texted me or something like that, I was, you know, sending it back. That guy should be dead. Two generators popped in rapid succession. Now, at this point, I'm like, okay, the only way I win with a group like this is if I kill this guy off. I have to kill him. I need them to quit gin rushing me quickly. I need them to come now. Alright, there we go. We got two people on gin. This guy could die. I'm blind as a bat, too. I just noticed. If this guy don't die, I lose the game. That's all there is to it. And I know this. I played this game enough. And RNG fucked me again. Instant heal. Yeah, this game's just super fucking bad, dude. I mean, what can you do as killer? Now they're in a, a really, really bad spot for me. This is terrible. I'm going to lose this game really quickly. See how three gens popped? Like, in a matter of, what is it, four minutes now? We're at four minutes and I've been applying pressure. And three gens popped. So, I don't care what survivors say. This game is not hard for you. This is easy shit. If I can have someone on the hook a majority of the time and three generators pop in four minutes... There's something fucking clearly wrong with this game. With barbecue and chili, with pop goes the weasel. I mean, I'm not I'm really not having that bad of a game, to be honest. That was a good juke by her. That wasn't really my fault. That was a good play. And there goes RNG again. That's the third time RNG made me hit a fucking wall. 
So I really need her to get hooked. So I can pop goes the weasel. What what do you do? We're five minutes in. Five minutes in, and these are this is how optimal survivors are at this rank. And I'm actually doing a decent job at you know trying to slow the game down as possible, as much as possible. <sighs> if you're not having good games as survivor, it's your own fault. You're making mistakes. These guys are not making mistakes. Alright, so now I gotta kick this generator. Look at this shit, dude. Finally. I thought I was gonna hit the fucking wall again. So I'm doing what I can. This game's pretty much about over. Nobody's dead. There's two generators left. I I can't seem to get a beat on most of the guys. I got that pallet done though. That's good. I jerked a little too much. This guy should be dead. I mean, what would you do, survivor remains, if you was against uh, optimal survivors with this? You're practically the best killer in the game, too. For console. Pretty much. I can get around the map so quickly, but this map is... Wow. What do you do when your ruin gets destroyed that fucking quick because it's in a terrible spawn location? I had map pressure this whole game. We're going on eight minutes now, and... Every single fucking generator is done. Every single one of them are done. I've been laying in my chainsaws too. For the most part. I mean, I didn't miss that many. So this is the only thing you really have a chance to do. And best believe they're going to talk shit at the end of the game. I don't know how they could talk shit. Like, they gen rushed me to the oblivion. Like, within what, four minutes of the match, three generators was done? With map pressure? There was nothing, there's nothing else I can do but sit here and watch this last hook. I want one fucking kill, you know what I'm saying? And they have the nerve to talk shit. They're in a survive with friends group. That's how overpowered it is when you can communicate. You don't have no right to teabag and fucking make excuses at the end of the match if you lose a survive with friends. If you're a total group. There's another down. This is this was the only play I had, you know what I'm saying? There's no other play I could have done. But what I'm doing here. I would have probably de-pipped if I didn't do this. That was really good. <laughs> I mean, come on now. You gonna really talk shit to me? What would you do? Just let him leave? I mean, let him get the exit gates? If I would have left this person right here that I just hooked again, 
If I leave that person, I lose. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And they have the nerve to talk shit about get good and this and that. When they're so try hard, they have to use some really try hard shit just to win. They have to use instant heals and shit like that. Uh, when they already know they're a decent group, you know what I mean? I don't know what else you can do, to be honest, as a killer. So I just lost track of that one. And uh, keep in mind, this is every single red rank game. I'm not even in red rank. This is every game. Every single one of them is this fucking hard as killer. When you're in higher ranks. So survivors, try to, sh you know, not be so fucking toxic. And act like I'm bad because I had to do what I had to do. You already pipped. You definitely already fucking pipped. And see, they're just sitting there, waiting, gloating, wanting me to come so they can teabag me. I mean, being a survivor is not hard, dude. It's the most chilling, relaxing thing on the planet. You don't... You're not good because you get away from a killer. You should. You should... A survivor friends group should... No one should die. Ever. If you're an entire survivor friends group that's this organized, you should not lose a single game. Ever. Ever. And if you do, then you're just not any good. I'm sorry. I had a great game, I thought. I mean, what more could I have done? I didn't uh, do chases too long. I had map pressure. They just... Fuck. I mean, what could you do? They had two proof thyself that were gin rushing the entire time. I didn't chase people... I mean, I don't know what I could have done, to be honest. There's nothing I could have done, actually. I would have just... Uh, before that game even started, I already lost. You know what I mean? That's how unbalanced this game is. And survivors, they don't see this side of it. You know what I mean? They don't understand how... Um, how stressful it can be as killer. Especially when... And then they wonder why sometimes... They'll get face camped. I uh, actually was Bubba eventually after doing about three or four games like this where Rune was in a terrible spot and I did that same fucking map or Cold Wind Farms. Like uh, after a while and you just get teabagged, it gets pretty fucking annoying, not gonna lie. So you wonder why some killers play toxic and they use certain perks. I don't care what perks I use, there's not a single fucking perk on this game that's overpowered as killer. Nothing is overpowered as killer. If you lose, then your team's just not very good. You know what I mean? They're not on the level of uh, the shit I face every day. Every single match. And it's really not even fun, to be honest. I don't like it, I just play it because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Well, I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, I could have done different to make the game better for me. I mean, I missed, what, two chainsaws? Uh, I didn't miss too many of them. I had uh, pretty good map pressure. I was just doomed from the start. Survivors, they're OP. This game's not balanced. That's all I have to say. I mean, so don't give killers a hard time because they do certain tactics. Or you already pipped. If I want to get the rest of my hooks, you can leave. Don't be greedy. Just leave. I want the rest of my fucking hooks, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm going to watch you at the end of the game. Or I'm going to do what I can to keep myself from getting gen rushed to b oblivion. Just how... That's the life of a killer, dude. It's stressful. I hope you guys enjoy this video, though, and see a different side of things. On how a lot of... Most of the games work out. Uh, a lot of the times I find a way to win, but... You know, that time I didn't. I had a chance for the 4K <laughs> and I fucked up. Uh, I should have went after Meg. I uh, could have 4K'd, but, you know, it happens. GG.